morning everyone welcome to Kelly's creative dream studios if you've been to my channel before thanks for coming back <coughs> if you're new to my channel you have arrived at just the perfect time um, if you are here during the premiere we are in the chat right next door to the video please come on over and say hi we'd love to visit with you and find out what you like to play with um, this is Normally, I would be doing the bee journal on Fridays, but I've got a couple of things I need to get out of the way, and I've not had time to create. We will be back to the bee journal next Friday, because I really need to get that bee journal finished, and I'll explain why next Friday. So, for today, I am doing this video in two parts, so please pay attention and hit notify me or whatever you need to do to make sure you come back for part two, because part two has some really big news you're not going to want to miss. So, for we're starting out with today is my big, and I mean big, haul from Stampin' Up! from the new holiday uh, mini catalog and the SAB, or the Celebrations Catalog, which means if you're new to Stampin' Up! we are doing this twice a year now, where we have a mini catalog, as well as our big all-occasions year-round catalog, the mini catalog has seasonal stamp sets, dies, papers, that kind of thing in it. And then the celebrations catalog is all free items, meaning when you purchase $50 or $100 brackets in any of our main catalogs, our all occasions, the mini, or even the clearance, you get to pick items from categories in the mini cat in the celebrations catalog absolutely free. And those items will range anywhere from $19.95 to $34.95. So you want to make sure this is a great time to get the most bang for your buck. Before I became a demonstrator, we only had the mini catalog and celebrations one time a year, and this is when I would place my biggest order because I got lots of free stuff on top of the items I was already going to order anyway. So one of the things I want to talk about, this is our uh, Rings of Love. Now I'm going to move these out of the way because some of these I have um, have open packages so I can flip through. So I'm going to disappear on the Christmas papers here for a minute and move them to the side. And we're going to start with our fall papers. As soon as I make sure I've got everything going where it needs to go. There. And there. And this is our one of our fall catalogs or designer series papers. This is a 12 by 12. And you get, this is called Rustic Harvest. And isn't it pretty? I love this. And I've done this so that I can just flip them over and you'll automatically see the back next page up. So this is the front and this is the back of that one. This is side one. And then this is side two. So you've got a nice variety of patterns. I can see this one being cut into four pieces and used either the front of fold it this way and do half and do a six journal six inch journal uh, cut it into your quarters and turn it into card fronts gonna be lovely then we have this one with all of the uh, squash your zucchini your gooseneck squash your summer squash your pumpkins your acorn squash lots of difference there and then you've got just a gentle background and then we have this one and this one with all the leaves. And you could easily fussy cut these out and turn them into accents on clusters. And then there's this one, and then the Argyle. And that is our Rustic Harvest, and I think it is a really pretty color. Let me get it out of the way. Okay. Then we're going to be looking at uh, Bows of Holly. And I don't think Bows of Holly... I don't think that's what this one is. No, this one is Santa Express. So, and I only bought one Santa Express. So that is this one. And this goes with a stamp and die set in the holiday catalog. But wouldn't you be nice to cut those apart and use them for belly bands, uh, bottom pockets, corner tucks. And I guess I didn't turn that one over. So let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. I was looking at these with Bob. This reminds me of shooting stars. That'd be gorgeous if it was across the blue background. Then we have our trees and our snowflakes on our green background. Presents. And then 
in the die set for this, you can cut out the uh, train compartments. And we have our ho ho hoes across the back. And if you'll notice with this uh, designer series paper, we also have brought out the diversity in this and the ethnicities. And then we have our fa la 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 la. And then the train die will also cut these out so you can piece your trains together as well as stamping in colors of your choice on your own. So that is the Santa Express. And then we have, this one is Bows of Holly. This is the correct one now. Now we have a poinsettia and die set. I can't remember if it's in the allocation catalog yet or not, but we do have, we have had it in the past with poinsettia dies and stamps. And so this will coordinate beautifully if you have those. I love this one. I love this one. I want to try cutting this one out on the scan and cut. We will see what happens. I have two packages, so if I mess it up, I'm good to go. Then we have our treat forest and more of that watercolor background. And I really love this one too. And if I'm not mistaken, we have a stamp and die set that will cut these, punch these holly leaves out too. It is going on my order tomorrow when the new holly, well, actually today. Friday. I'm recording this on Thursday. Don't don't mind me. Um, the new holiday catalog and celebrations catalog launched today, and I am placing an order to pick up a couple of items. Hard to believe that I didn't get in this set, huh? So let's move this one out of the side. That is Bows of Holly, and then we have uh, Sweet Christmas again, part of a stamp and die set. And the dies will punch out the candy canes. Turn that one over and we get the stripe. And then we have the all over candy cane. I love this one. Very, very festive. And then we have the green stripe on the reverse. This almost has more of a vintage tone in the reds and greens with the polka dots. More of that vintage with uh, green dash, dash spots or raindrops kind of look. This is the pattern of Christmas that I remember from a kid with the red and green and white candy canes. And then we have the peppermint stripe. The larger peppermint stripe with more of almost like a check kind of look to it. And that is sweet Christmas. Sweetest Christmas, excuse me. Okay. And then we have our glimmer paper. And I did this specifically because... There's no limit, but you get six sheets in our Evening Evergreen, in our Glimmer White, and then in your Gold. Isn't that shiny and pretty? I love that one. And that is our Glimmer Paper, 12 by 12, six sheets, two of each. And then I have the Festive Christmas. And this is our last Christmas paper that I bought. And this, this is a specialty designer series paper because it has the metallic inlays. And two of these. This would be really pretty on a New Year's Eve card, I think. And then the red uh, with the metallic snowflakes. And that is our festive foils. Okay. That's it for those designer series papers. Now, I'm going to come back to this one in just a minute. I want to do this one on the bottom first. This is called Rings of Love. And the reason I have Rings of Love is because there is a stamp, die, and embossing folder that go with this. And they are the tree rings. And this die will cut out the tree rings out of your embossing folder so you have them textured. Or you can stamp and die cut them from the stamp set and do the same thing. And I'm trying to get this one off the sticky pad. I'll be glad when I have everything conversed, but look at that. You can emboss that. What I would do is I would rub this embossing folder with soft, soft, soft suede? No, early espresso. 
early espresso on a soft suede paper or the crumb cake. And then when I cut this out, I would have the colored rings with the lighter of the uh, texture of the wood in the background. And that is called our Rings of Love. So you have the embossing folder, you have the dies, and then there's a stamp and die set. And remember, when you buy the bundled pieces together, you save 10%. So you're going to want to watch for that. I just bundled those up like that in a press shouldn't have, but oh well. So this is the paper that goes with the Rings of Love collection. Nice woodsy florals. And I love this 1950s vibe of this check. I may have to order another one of these just because. Then we have our colors of our acorns and our yellows and greens. Love the birds. And I've just been working with a bow bunny paper collection called Harmony that came out in 2019 and these same kind of birds are in there and I love this Bob really loved this one this is that um, watercolor smoosh with the, almost like a snowflake background so you could put this in a winter scene and then we have the houses that would be easy enough to fussy cut out and a boho theme and then more of our woodlands with our mushrooms and the tree rings and the dies will cut these tree rings out as well. So that is Rings of Love. Now I gotta scooch over here for a minute because um, I'll come back to that one in a minute. I'll come back to that one in a minute because I wanna do this last paper pad and get the paper pad out of my way so that I have room to show you the other stuff. So I have this is free with a hundred dollar purchase out of the celebration catalog purchase a hundred dollars in product and you get the stamp set and the paper pack together free with a hundred dollar purchase now i have three sets of the stamps i don't really need three sets of the stamps but i love the wonderful world paper i absolutely love it and i'm going to lay this one over here Actually, let's move these over here out of the way. And these are the papers that I fell in love with. And I wanted three packets because I think this paper is going to be perfect for a Mother's Day uh, photo journal that I want to do. So I have this side and the greeny vines. This is gorgeous and you can use this on your scan and cut. It's going to be gorgeous to cut this out. And more of the purple vine. And this one just, I just love it. And then the yellow stripe for a nice accent. And then I love this on the pink. This is the one that I saw in Thought Mother's Day. With this background, wouldn't this make a nice background on a photo mat and an album? And then there's this one. This would make nice borders or belly bands, as would this. Nice on clusters. Gorgeous. And that is called, where did it go? Wonderful World. Paper and stamp set free with a $100 purchase from our annual catalog, our mini catalog, and our clearance items. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple more paper items, and then I'm going to break here, I think, and we'll see where we're at. And then I'll hit the break, and then I'll come back with the next video. Uh, with that um, Santa Express, I also bought the Memories and More card pack. I love these for making cards as well as doing the scrapbook albums. And I think these are going to make a neat um, December daily album. They're pretty. And I'm not going to flip through them all. I'd be here forever. But see, we have the dates already. This is perfect for a... And you have some acetates. Winter Wonderland. Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Merry Christmas and Bright. And then you have some wood pieces. And I thought I was going to pop one of these out a while ago. And I didn't want to... I didn't want to break anything. Let's see what we do here. Here we go. And they are flimsy. They're not a solid wood piece. 
but they're going to be perfect for embellishing. So we've got those. So this is going to be a neat September or December daily I'm going to be doing. And I think I'm going to put it together because beginning Monday with our Make It Meal Up Monday, July is going to be all about Christmas except for our bee journals on Friday. So until we have it done. So July is going to be all about Christmas stuff. So come on back for that. Okay. Um, I also bought another packet of the Heart and Home so that I could finish that bee journal. I needed some more of the embellishments. And, of course, I can always use the cards. Not a problem for those. Okay. Uh, one of the dies from our All Occasions catalog that I absolutely had to have was the sequence die. I can cut sequins from that glitter paper, um, any color cardstock to coordinate with whatever I'm working working with, designer series papers, and I have one, two, three, four, five different sizes of sequins that I can cut out with my die cutting system. So I had to have the um, sequins dies. Okay. Um, barn dies and Christmas barn. These are in the holiday catalog. You have additional dies here. Because you also have a die that will cut the rail fence out, as well as a die that will add dimension to this one. Uh, the tree, the wreath, additional little snowflakes, a skating pond, and a silo to put behind that barn. So looking forward to playing with this one. And this is the Christmas barn and barn dies bundle. You can buy them individually, but why when you can put the two together with one skew number and get 10% off? Also, out of the holiday mini, actually, these are out of celebrations, is the Hippest Hippos. Fell in love with hippos. When I went to um, the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. several years ago, and they had the hippos inside in a barn, not out in the water area. And I got to see a hippo up close, and I just fell in love with them. So I was tickled to see them bring out the Hippest Hippos. And... Let me see. I thought I had something else here, but I don't. Anyway, we have the three hippos. We have hippie. We have hip sayings. Love you a ton. Now that's kind of mean. Uh, we have waves. We have two different. We have a tub and a boat. We have dies to cut out the three different hippos. We have water splashes, a lifesaver, party hat, sunglasses. Um, not sure what these others are. An umbrella, uh, goggles, swim goggles. Gonna love playing with this one. And this is. $50 purchase, $50 purchase. So for a $100 purchase, you can get both of these items absolutely free. Okay. Oh, and I thought Woohoo Sayings would go really good with that one. Then I bought, out of our regular catalog, I bought the watercolor shapes. I can see stamping these as a second generation or a ghost stamping for a lighter tone and then stamping a sentiment over top of them. And then one more stamp and die set. And that is our cheerful basket. Fell in love with this one because of the tiger kitty here. Reminds me of my tabby girl. And then we have the basket. And we have three different things we can put in the basket. And the coordinating dies to cut those out and tuck them into the basket. We also have a kerchief die here. We have some uh, sprigs of things to stick in. You know. <laughs> Leaves, whatever you want to call them. Individual hearts that you could stamp and or the dies that you could cut out. And then in here we have sending you some get well cheer. You fill my day with happiness, and that'd be great for the hearts. Inspired by you, great for using the crafting tools. So I love this one. Cheerful basket and the cheerful basket dies together 10% off. Okay, now um, that puts us at 20 minutes. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to ask that you come back. In just a few minutes, you will see this video labeled identically, except it will say part two and then we'll cover the rest of these items and the big news that I have you're not going to want to miss so hurry back create a blessings <music>